Hey everybody, welcome to Prittle Mondays. Prittle Mondays where the puzzles are real and the cookies don't matter. What is Prittle Monday? Prittle Monday is where we work on these puzzles and riddles. I'm trying to get better at armchair treasure hunts. Armchair treasure hunts can have puzzles and codes and things such as riddles. And you're supposed to try to figure out the clues in order to find the treasure. And I'm trying to get better at them. One of the ways I'm doing it is to do puzzles and riddles. Hey, Uli. Hey, Evan Penn. I'm glad you can make it today. So I'm trying to get better at armchair treasure hunts. How, how does this help us? This helps working on our lateral thinking. Instead of using our logic side of our brain, instead of the right side, we use the left side of the brain. We try to think outside the box. We try to work on a vocabulary. And have a little bit of fun. Have just a little bit of fun. Hey, sweetie's here too. And... So here we work on puzzles and riddles. Today we're going to work on some riddles, and then I have some other puzzles later on in the show today. Uh, I have an email address. If you have a particular puzzle riddle you want me to work on on my show, uh, my email address is ajrainville1973 at gmail.com. Uh, I also have a Discord channel. The Discord information is in the description box below. Uh, if you want to join me on Prittle Monday and go through it on the voice chat. <laughs> yes, Huli figured out the Cookies Matter puzzle from last week. Uh, the answer was the Royal Gorge Bridge in Colorado, if you're wondering. The Royal Gorge Bridge is the highest bridge in the United States, so Rocky Mountain High. And let's see, what was it? Aristocratic in Spanish. So aristocratic synonym is royal. Cookies are in session, says Lori James. <laughs> aristocratic in Spanish. Aristocratic is a synonym of that is royal. And in Spanish, inside the word Spanish was span. Span is another synonym for bridge. That was how you're supposed to get the Royal Gorge Bridge in the Cookies Matter puzzle from last week. So let's get started. I had somebody stump me. Uh, I play a, a game online and somebody stumped me with this. Uh, riddle right here. So I thought I'd start off with this one. We're going to start off with riddles riddles today. Today it starts off with railroad crossing without any cars. Can you spell that without any R's? So again, that's railroad crossing without any cars. Can you spell that without any R's? So let me know if anybody has it. Yeah, it was a nice job for Huli. She got it quick too. She had three guesses. She got three guesses and she got it on the third guess from the Cookies Matter puzzle. And she got, she had cookies and she had the cookies sent to someone else in the mail. AC got it. The answer is that. How do you spell that without any R's? It's T-H-A-T. -T. That is how you get it. Cookie for AC and welcome back AC. <laughs> That's how you spell railroad crossing without any cars. T H. Can you spell that without any R's? T-H-A-T, -T, right there. All right, we're going to start with some easy riddles. At least that's what they say they're easy here. Happy Monday to you too, AC. Purtle Monday, best day of the week. What loses its head in the morning and gets it back at night? What loses its head in the morning and gets it back at night? <laughs> Station locomotive. Uh-oh, who leaves guessing the other one? <laughs> the moon. What loses its head in the morning and gets it back at night? The head of the moon. Hmm. What loses its head in the morning and gets it back at night? Loses its head in the morning. Head of a face of a face of a clock. I am not sure. Loses its head in the morning and gets it back at night. So the other one I knew the answer to. The answer was that this, these riddles here I don't know. Lori James says beer. All right, I like the way you're thinking, Lori. What well, loses its head in the morning and gets it back at night? We're looking for its head means something else than what we're thinking. Head of a match. 
Morning Glory Flower. Okay, I see where you're going. You're thinking of a flower that blooms only at night? Silver Fox says pillows. Pillows! Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we've had this one before. Pillows. Yep, so I think Silver Fox got it. Loses his head in the morning and gets it back at night. These are supposed to be easy ones. Moonflower. I, I understand where you're going with that, Huli. Yep, bed. Silver Fox gets a cookie for pillow. The pillow is what loses its head in the morning and gets it back at night. Cookie for Silver Fox. All right, let's see what we got here. What two things can you never eat for breakfast? What two things? And these are supposed to be easy riddles. Easy riddles. What two things can you never eat for breakfast? Mm. What two things can you never eat for breakfast? Oh, lunch and dinner, says Huli. I like it. Silver Fox also says lunch and lunch and dinner probably has the same thing. Lunch and dinner. That is correct. Cookie for Huli. Cookie for Huli. All right, let's move on. We can go through these quickly. What can you catch but not throw? Okay, I think I know this one. I'll get my cookie ready for someone who gets it. What can you catch but not throw? What can you catch but not throw? A cold, yes. I think that I think Lori James has it. Yep, a cold. Cold, cold. Cookie for Lori James. See, these aren't so bad. Cookie for Lori James. What can you catch but not throw? You can catch a cold. What is brown and sticky? Oh, we've had this one before. <laughs> Easy riddles. Babies is something you can catch but not throw. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is what is brown and sticky? We've had this one before. <laughs> I'll get my cookie ready. What is brown and sticky? I'll wait for the thing to cup up, come up. I don't think it's sugar, Huli. What is brown and sticky? Easy riddle. Ah, no, it's not honey. You're thinking logically. Lateral thinking. Outside the box thinking is what we need for solving these riddles. It's not sugar. It's not honey. It's not chocolate, sweetie. Sweetie's favorite chocolate. <laughs> it's not chocolate. It's a riddle. You're going to hate yourself when you see the answer. It's not porcupines. Not It's not chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> all right i'll give you a little more time what is brown and sticky you're going to hate yourself when you see this answer if you don't get the answer 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 all right it's, you guys almost got it it answers a stick answers a stick Tree, limbs, branch. All right, I'll, I'll give it to you. The answer was a stick, though. What is brown and sticky? It's a stick. Is it a great riddle? It's not a great riddle. But we've had that one before. Or at least I've seen it before. I'll give a cookie to Lori. Hooli. And Alan Kay, because they were close. So you get to share a cookie. How's that? <laughs> you get to share a cookie. Tape, not quite. Brown and sticky, the answer was a stick. A stick. All right, during what month do people sleep the least? Okay, half a cookie, it's a third of a cookie. 
Brown and sticky, the answer is a stick. <laughs> During what month do people sleep the least? What month? During what month do people sleep the least? Oh, February. February and a leap year. Oh, okay. It's the fewest number of days in the month, February. All right, shortest month after all. Okay, you guys got that one. I didn't get that one. Uh, looks like Hooli got February 1st. Hooli got February 1st. February. The first one to get February. During what month do people sleep the least? I was thinking too logically. Because it's the shortest month of all. Mm. That one got me. What is the center of gravity? Okay, I think we can get this one. So you said sil silver fox. I said that would. What is the center of gravity? What months do people sleep the least? <laughs> okay, pro is in here. <laughs> what is the center of gravity? There it is. V, 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 V. Okay. We haven't had this one, but it's... But we had this type of one before. Alan K is the first one. The center of gravity is V. A cookie for Alan K, who got it first. All right, let's see what else we got. What has three feet but cannot walk? What has three feet but cannot walk? All right, I think I know this one. I'll get my cookie ready. Wood, wood. What has three feet but cannot walk? Yardstick, yardstick. I'm pretty sure that's the answer. Yep. Answer is a yardstick. Lori James got it first. Lori James got it first. Yep, a yard is correct. A stool. What has three feet but cannot walk? Ah, I'll give it to you, Davio. I'll give you a cookie too, Davio. That's not, that's not bad. Stool, a three-legged stool. Answer is a yardstick. There is an ancient invention still used in some parts of the world today that allows people to see through walls. What is it? Okay, we, I think we've had this one before too. There is an ancient invention still used in some parts of the world today that allows people to see through walls. What is it? I'll get my cookie ready because I know this one. I know this one. There is an ancient invention still used in some parts of the world today that allows people to see through walls. What is it? Answer is not people. Alec A got it. Window. I'm pretty sure the answer is a window. It, an ancient invention still used in some parts of the world today that allows people to see through walls. What is it? The answer is a window. Alan K got it first. Yep. Window, window, window. All right. What goes up and never comes down? Ah. What goes up and never comes down? I think we've had a similar one to this, but I don't know if we had this worded exactly like this. Hey, Sassy, glad you could make it. I'll get my cookie ready for whoever figures it out. I'm pretty sure, I have a, I'm confident I got this one. <laughs> Although I did get stumped on the one with the uh, railroad carsing at cars without using the letter R. I got stumped on that one. Big lag, sassy? Oh, man. Age, age, your age. Keyboard races, keyboard races. What goes up and never comes down? Keyboard races, I don't know. But the answer is age, and the first one to get that is Hooli. Cookie for Hooli. Smoke. Smoke can come down. But I understand where you're coming from. I can see where you're coming from. AC and Lori James. We're going to move on. What stays where it is when it goes off? 
what stays. Mm. What stays where it is when it goes off. Alan Kay's cookie count. <laughs> okay. An alarm. Alan Kay's cookie count. <laughs> Everybody's talking about. <laughs> All right. Oh, alarm clock. Okay. What stays where it is when it goes off. Alarm clock. Ah, uh, okay. Looks like Lori James got that first. Lori James got it first. Lori. At Lori James. Light depends on the light source, though. What stays where it is when it goes off. I guess it's the it's about in the wording. If it was turns off, maybe then it was then it was um, a light source. But what stays where it is when it goes off? I guess it's just a matter of the the word. I don't associate goes off with lights. I guess, but I understand where you're coming from. All right, these aren't too bad. We'll keep going. The person. Okay, we've had this one before. The person who buys me doesn't need me. The person who makes me doesn't want me. And the person who uses me can't appreciate me. What am I? The light bulb then? As it goes, the light bulb goes off? I understand, but I, the alarm clock, I think, is a, is a much better answer. But I understand. Everyone deserves a cookie, AJ? Oh, okay, sweetie. <laughs> Coffin, yeah, we've had we've had this one I think multiple times. I think the person who buys me doesn't need me, the person who makes me doesn't want me, and the person who uses me can't appreciate me. The answer is a coffin. Another cookie for Laurie James. What's orange and sounds like a parrot? Okay, this is an awful one. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I see. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sweetie says everyone deserves a cookie. Well, we'll see. <laughs> What's orange and sounds like a parrot? I'll get it ready. I guess it's not too bad. It's an easy one. What's orange and sounds like a parrot? I think Huli got it. It's a carrot. Carrot. Answer is a carrot. I guess that's that's one of those riddles where if you said it out loud, it would make it a little more difficult. It's a it's a matter where I can see the word parrot, and I can see it's just one letter away from carrot. I think that makes it kind of easy. But if you said it out loud, it might make it more difficult. What jumps higher than a building? What jumps higher than a building? Hmm. Yep, carrot, 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 carrot. Yep, yep, yep. What jumps higher than a building? Another easy riddle. What jumps higher than a building? I'm purposely not looking at chat because I want to try to figure it out myself. What jumps higher than a building? So I'm thinking it's some metaphorical like time or... What jumps higher than a building? All right, I'll look at chat. What is it? Everything, taxes, Mighty Mouse, anything that can jump. Oh, anything that jumps. Oh, anything because a building can't jump. Okay. Mm. Everything because buildings don't jump. All right, who had that first? Jimmy Fast. Jimmy Fast makes an appearance and gets a cookie. It's just that simple. What jumps higher than a building? A building can't jump, so everything that can jump or anything that can jump can jump higher than a building dang it i should have had that one 
<clears throat> what starts with an E but only has a single letter in it? What starts with an E but only has a single letter in it? I'm looking for a wordplay. What starts with an E but only has a single letter in it? Mm. I would have accepted everything. Oh, envelope. Oh. Envelope. <sighs> what starts with an E but only has a single letter in it? Man, I should have had that one. What starts with an E but only has a single letter in envelope? Who got it first? I. What starts with an E but only has a single letter in it? Oh, I like I. A single letter in the center of it. Mm. I like that, Jimmy Fast. So I'm going to get a cookie for Lori James. The letter I, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm giving it. I'm giving it to Jimmy Fast. I like that answer too. I'm giving Jimmy Fast also a cookie for a good answer. He's here for the black and white cookies. <laughs> oh, what are you retracted? Jimmy Fast you retracted your answer. Your answer. Boo. Boo. I like the answer, Jimmy Fast. I E Y E. So if you can't see it, if you're looking at this afterwards, you think you're la you're lagging too? Don't be afraid to refresh the stream. There's nothing wrong with refreshing the stream if you're getting delays. All right. In spring, I look gay, covered in green array. The warmer it gets, the more clothing I wear. As the cold grows, I throw away my clothes. What am I? Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys, if you're getting lag. I, I, other than refreshing the stream, I'm not sure what else to do. But just have fun. Just appreciate that, you know, it's... Some people can type fast. All right. In spring, I look gay, covered in a green array. The warmer it gets, the more clothing I wear. As the cold grows, I throw away my clothes. What am I? My first thought was dandelion, but I don't think that's quite it. Tree, tree, tree. Gay or gray? It is gay, G-A-Y. So people say tree, covered in green, covered in leaves. The warmer it gets, the more clothing I wear. As cold grows, I throw away my clothes. So you think the answer is tree? The answer is tree. Let's see what the answer is. It is a tree. All right, who got it first? Uh, Evan Penn got it first. Answer is tree. Cookie for Evan Penn. In spring I look gay, covered in green array. The warmer it gets, the more clothing I wear. As the cold grows, I throw away my clothes. Oh, okay. A tree. I didn't see it, but I, I can see where it's coming from. Mr. Smith has four daughters. Each of his daughters has a brother. How many children does Mr. Smith have? All right, we've had this one before. Maybe we've got to go to some harder ones. <clears throat> Might have to do some harder riddles. Mr. Smith has four daughters. Each of his daughters has a brother. How many children does Mr. Smith have? I will get the cookie ready because we've had this one more. Jimmy Fast says five. I'm pretty sure the answer is five. He has five children. All the daughters have the same one brother. Five, 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 five. Look at everybody's seen this before. Who had five first? Jimmy Fast had five first. Too many. <laughs> uh, all right. A cowboy rode to an inn on Friday. He stayed two nights and left on Friday. 
How could that be? All right, it's another one we've had before. All right, if we get one more I recognize after this one, then I'm, we're going to move on. This one's not even a trick. It is a trick. It is a trick. A cowboy rode to an inn on Friday. He stayed two nights and left on Friday. How could that be? I will get the cookie ready. Yeah, Friday is the name of the horse. Friday is the name of the horse. A cowboy rode to an inn on Friday. He stayed two nights and left on Friday. The horse is named Friday. That's how it could be. And Jimmy Fast was the fastest one to type it out. Yep, yep, yep. All right, I'm going to check. do one more of these easy ones. And if, it's, if I recognize it, we'll see. What belongs to you, but other use, others use it more than you do. Okay, we've had this one before. This is the last of the easy ones. <laughs> what belongs to you, but others use it more than you do. Jimmy Fast is fast, is correct. What belongs to you, but others use it more than you do. It's all good, AC. We're here for fun. These are groaners, says Sassy. <laughs> name, name, name. There it is. Your name. What belongs to you, but others use it more than you do. And the answer is your name. All right. We're moving on from these. The first one to get it was Hooli. All right. We're moving on. All right. This is word a day. This is uh, not a word a day. Puzzle a day. And I didn't look at the answer to this one. This one's titled The First Letters of Something. And let me make sure you can see these well enough. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. The first letter of something in a specific set occurs. A four times, C three times, D one time, and so on. What is this something? The first letter of something in a specific set occurs. A four times, C three times, D one time, F, G, H, all one time, I four times. And what is this something? That's what we're looking for. Holy cow. States, United States. Alabama, Arizona, so on. M occurs eight times. Is there 50? I'm not going to add them all up. W four times. R one time, probably Rhode Island. S two times. These are all the first letters of states. L one time. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, four. All right. They're all states. People from the United States have an advantage. Okay. States of the United States. Okay. <laughs> Why is Arkansas pronounced Arkansas and Kansas is pronounced Kansas despite being the same words? Arkansas is named after a plural French word for American tribe. The French words usually have the last S silent. Similarly, Kansas is named after the Kansas River, which was also in turn named after a French plural word for a Native American tribe. The English pronunciation stuck. Thus, we provide, we pronounce the last S in Kansas, but not in Arkansas. Okay. Who had the states first? Evan Penn. Cookie for Evan Penn. That's interesting. I never thought about why Arkansas, we don't pronounce the S, but Kansas, we do. And they both end in S-A-S. Huh. A unique alphabet. A, C, clever, daring. B, 
The above alphabet chart contains carefully selected words representing each letter. Why have these specific words been chosen? A stands for any, B is bold. C represents clever, daring, E is explorer, faces, great, hurdles, I is including. J is jealous, K is kings, L lying, M mariners, and native, O occupants, P petty, Q queens, R is really, S represents sneaky, T is for tyrants, U equals usually, V is vying, W stands for with, X is xenophobic, Y is young, and Z is zealots. The above alphabet chart contains carefully selected words representing each letter. Why have these specific words been chosen? The Lampasas River in Texas? Oh my goodness. None of them sound like the letters Z, Young, Xenophobic, With, V is Vying, U Usually, T, Tyrants, Phonetic Alphabet, read the last word of each sentence, it makes a new sentence. Any bold, clever, daring explorer faces great hurdles, including jealous kings, lying mariners, native occupants, petty queens, really sneaky tyrants, usually vying with xenophobic young zealots. <laughs> okay. Is it a phonetic alphabet? It makes a new it makes a new sentence. The words create a sentence, okay? This is an example of an alphabetic sentence in which each word in the sentence begins with a sequential letter in the alphabet for all 26 letters. Okay, it's called an alphabetic sentence. All right, I'll give a cookie to Jimmy Fast, Evan Penn, and Sassy for all providing for an explanation. Yep. And sassy. Everybody gets a cookie. Phonetic alphabet, it's a sentence. Read the last word of each sentence. Yep, yep, yep. All right, I'm not sure what type of... Dimitri Borgman created a variant of this alphabetic sentence, which each letter is represented twice in order. Artistically assembled, bagpipes blow, creating cacophony, drums deliver, echo it, Echoes ensuing, flutes follow, generating gentleness. Harmonicas help in instances. Jews harps join, keeping kosher. Lutes lightly make music noteworthy. Now, oboes outclassed, piccolos peep quite quickly. Rebix replies so softly. The tuba, used untiringly, varies vastly while with Xyloid xylophones, yammers ye zesty zither. <laughs> All right, using using different things. A clever cold, a clever code. <clears throat> Can you determine two distinct sentences that are coded in the above image? All right, let me make sure you guys can see that. Can I make it a little bit bigger? I don't know if that helps or not. Can you determine two distinct sentences that are coded in the above image? Hmm. Jimmy Fast wants all his cookies for a black and white cookie. <laughs> that makes your head hurt. Mm. It looks like we've got missing letters. Something, disease, and pain. Oh, disease. A cursed fiend wrought death, disease, and pain. 
a blessed friend brought breath and and Yzag. A blessed friend brought breath and something. Ease. Oh, and ease again. Okay. A cursed phrase with death and pain. Okay, Sassy got it first. Okay. All right. Yeah, that one hurts my head too. All right, we're going to move on. Word puzzles. Let me make sure you can see this decently. All right. Each four-letter word is actually the middle of a much bigger word. Fill in the blank spaces to create the original eight-letter word. So we've got four-letter words in the middle of an eight-letter word. So go ahead and tilt any of the words, if you can figure out what they are, let me know. It's an eight letter, they're all eight letter words and you're given four letters in the middle. Try to figure out what any of the words are. Just go ahead and guess any of them and I'll, I'll be able to figure out which, which one is which. So we've got eight, eight letter words. I'll get my cookies ready. If you can't see them, let me know. It is kind of a weird light purple color. Mm -hmm. Evan Penn, incubate. Incubate. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yep. Cookie for Evan Penn. <laughs> Bad connection doesn't come for fast guy having internet joy. I hear you, Christopher Robin. All right, so the third one in the second column is incubate. We got one which has taco in the middle, one has Lois in the middle, aqua in the middle, mesa in the middle, dust, deer, and we know Cuba is incubate, and cola. I'll get my cookie ready for whatever we can figure out another one. We've got eight letter words, we got eight eight letter words, and we've got four letter words in the middle. And I saw the answer to this one, to some of them. And that's why I'm pretty sure incubate is correct for the third one in the second column. Just go ahead and put the word in. You don't have to tell me which which word is you're guessing at, because I, I, I can figure it out once you put in the word. Is it that hard? Oh, okay. The first word in the second column is industry. Industry. I N D U S T R Y. Industry. Seaquake. Ah, I think you got that one. I think you got that one too, Sassy. I, I can't pull up the answer because it's going to show all the answers. But I'm going to go ahead and give Sassy Seaquake. So we've got the third one in the first column and the first and the third in the second column. We've got Industry, Incubate, and Seaquake. In Dearly. I think it's either endearly or endeared. One of those. I'll give it to you, Lori. Lori James gets endearly. 
So we've got the first, second, and third on the second column and the third word in the first column. So we've got four out of the eight words now. Copper Dan's here. Hey, Copper Dan. We're trying to make some words with these four letter words in the middle of them, Copper Dan. So far, we've got sea quake for the third word in the first column, and we've got industry and dearly and incubate in the second column. We're looking for other eight letter words. Namesake. Ah, sassy. Namesake. I like it. Cookie for sassy for namesake. Incolate. Incolate. For in for cola, incolate. Namesake, so Oh, Jimmy Fast says uncolate. Uncolate. Hmm. I'm not going to be able to bring it up without looking at the first letter up there. Accolade for cola. Accolade. Yes, yes, yes. Accolade. What happened to... Jimmy Fast, he retracted his, his guess. Accolade for cola. I'm pretty sure that's what that one is. Accolade. So we're looking for the one with taco in the middle and the one with Lois in the middle. I'm pretty sure that's what we're missing. Incubate for Cuba. I think we had, yeah, we got, we got the third one. Evan Penn got Incubate in the third one. We're looking for the one with Taco and the one with Lois. We're looking for the word with Taco in the middle and the one with Lois. So we're looking for eight letter word with Taco in the middle and an eight letter word with Lois in the middle. And I don't remember what these are. It should be a very, just like these other words, it's a common, relatively common eight letter word with Taco and Lois in the middle of the eight little word. Soloists for Lois. Soloists, I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you, Sassy. I can't look at the answer yet. Seaquake seems wrong. All right. If you can come up with a different answer for Evan, I'm, I'm willing to, to check, because I, I can only check if I check, I'm going to look at all of them. Catacomb for taco. Catacomb. Wow, it's almost the same time. Christopher Robin got it first. All right, catacomb. These are the answer. Soloists. Seaquake. Namesake. We had namesake, right? Yep, yep, yep. Christopher Robin picked up a cookie for catacomb. So the one with Taco is Catacomb. Soloists was the one with Lois in the middle. The one with Aqua in the middle was Seaquake. The one with Mesa in the middle was Namesake. Uh, Dust in the middle was Industry. The one with Deer in the middle was Sidearms. Deer was in the middle? Oh, we thought it was Endeared. That's okay. See quick. So the one with deer was sidearms. Sidearms was the answer for that one. I I thought we had it already. Incubate and accolade. I'm pretty sure accolade was the one that somebody got. Accolade. Yep. Sassy got it. <laughs> See quick. But you think it's an unusual word? Let's look up the word. See quick. I mean it's an earthquake at sea, I assume. A sudden disturbance of the sea caused by a submarine eruption or earthquake. Sea quake. It's a it's a real word. You know, hey, we're we're doing this to try to figure out some things that we don't normally work on. <laughs> it's all good. 
Definitely a California answer. <laughs> All right. And again, let me make sure you can see this. You guys can see this well enough. We're looking for a two-word place name. A two-word place name by traveling each letter in this sort of grid of letters. Uh, you can only use each letter, or you can only go through each circle once. And the hint of this two-word place name is it's a statuesque location. Statuesque location. But more importantly, it's a real brewery. <laughs> Sakar. All right, Sakar. Yes, Seaquake is also apparently a brewery. Seaquake Brewing in Crescent City, California. <laughs> All right. So we're looking for a two-word place name. And you have to get there by going from letter to letter within this grid of letters. And you can only use each letter one time. Go from, from letter to letter. Earthquake is too long, what you thought of first. <laughs> All right. We're looking for a two-word place name. And you travel going from letter to letter and use each letter once. The clue is statue. It's a statuesque location. It's a statuesque location. One word is island, Sassy. That is correct. This one I looked up. I looked up the answer before I wanted to know if to use this one on the on Purtle Monday. So sometimes I look up the answer. Sometimes I don't. It's not Staten Island. It's a two word place name. And the clue is it's a statuesque location. Statuesque location. So you're trying to make two words, but it's kind of tough at the beginning. So even telling you where island, but you don't know where to start in this little grid of letters. They're very common letters too in here. So I can I, I couldn't figure it out by I was looking at it. Once I saw the answers, I go, okay. It's not Staten Island. You would use N twice. Even if you can figure it out, there's only one N and there's two. There we go. Easter Island, Easter Island. So you go, let me see. I, I checked this out before. You start with the E in the lower right-hand corner. Then you go to the A in the middle then S T E R. So E A S T E R. Then you go I S L A L A. Oh, you don't E E A S. Oh, I S L A L A N D. E A S T E R. Okay. Easter Island is the answer. Who got it first? Lori James. Lori James got it first. Uh, Ellis Island would work. Copper Dan, except we've only got one L, and you can't use any of the letters a second time. But good guess. Other A. Yeah, I mixed up the, I put the wrong A down. So, let's see, 850. Last week we gave away uh, some cookies. They got mailed out, and Huli was the winner last time. I say I'm, I'm going to do Cookies Matter occasionally, but guess what happened? Sweetie made some more cookies. Whole new batch of cookies. So you know what that means. Cookies Matters comes back two weeks in a row. What is Cookies Matter? Cookies Matter is a puzzle you work on after the stream is done. I will give you this puzzle in a moment. The first one who puts, not in the live stream, but the first one who puts the correct answer in the comment section once the this live stream has processed will get a box of cookies, a box of emoji cookies. These are black and white cookies made by Sweetie herself, homemade. 
in the style of black and white cookies. They're kind of a soft cake-like cookie. Baker's dozen. Oh, it's not it's not that big of a box, Jimmy Fast. <laughs> it's not that big of a box. Do you have to be a subscriber? You do not have to be a subscriber. Whoever figures it out first puts the answer in the comment section once this video, this live stream is processed. They will get a box of cookies. I'll ask for their email address and or I will put my email address and you can email me your shipping address and that's all there is to it. Cookies matter. It's a little more difficult than the ones we work on here. Sweetie should make a very small person jumping off the bridge on the cookie for a dark theme. <laughs> hey, she did a good job with these. We we make the sort of the villanelle icing first and then the chocolate icing with the bridge. I think she does a good job. You trying to make a <laughs> trying to make it for a dark theme, huh? For something jumping off a bridge. So um pretty much anywhere I would like to, I'll send it to anywhere in the world, but I, I would rather, hopefully, it be in some place in the United States. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't think there's any other rules. Whoever, and if, whatever, if you put a guess, I will respond to your comment in the description. In the, I will respond to your comment whether you're right or wrong. So you can go through the comments of what other people have guessed. And whatever you guess, I will respond telling you either right or you're wrong. Now, give me some... I'll, I'll be available these next couple hours. I'll respond to your guesses. But if it's like the next day, it might take me a while to respond. Once somebody figures it out, I will pin that comment and I'll put that at the top of the comments. So if you check back later and you want to see what the correct answer is, or if you want to see if it's even been solved yet, you will know in that first comment that I will pin that will come up to the top. And an angel saving the jumper, says Huli. <laughs> Put in Bridge Inspector of the Cookie 2, says Jimmy Fast. <laughs> All right. So that is the end of Priddle Monday. I am going to bring up the, the puzzle for Cookies Matter. I hope everybody has a good week. I didn't see whether Calazars, the Calazars channel is back now. So if they're coming on, they will be coming on in a few minutes. So, but I want to wish everybody have a good week. Happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see everybody next time. I will now put up today's Cookies Matter. Have a good week, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Everybody have a good week. Happy cookie day, says Sassy. <laughs>